where have I been, right? <laughs> so scratch that, let's start over. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Sana, and I am so, oh gosh, bloopers. Welcome, this video is a little different as you can see. We're gonna be going through my day. I am up, I'm ready to go. I'm about to run out to the mall. I have some things to return, which I am gonna show you all. I need to come back and do my budget. I need to close out May. I need to start June. It is the weekend. I am tired but I am ready to have fun. So I'm gonna stop first and get me something to eat. I'm gonna take you guys along. Me and my daughter, we're gonna stop and get something to eat. Then we're gonna to run to the mall. I have some things to return. So your girl went to Louis Vuitton, okay. But I don't know if I'm gonna return that because I really want that. I love that. And I have been debating and debating. It is so hard not to even carry that bag without I don't know. So I did purchase these shoes. My daughter talked me into these freaking the Bomb Diaz, they're okay. I like them, but I think I'm going to return them. So I'm gonna show you all what they look like really fast. Yeah, I think they're cute. They're okay. I really, see me and my daughter can wear the same size now. And so she kind of talked me into getting them because she wanted them and I kind of fell for it. But we did find some other shoes that we actually like better that we're gonna get. I'm gonna be going to return this. And I also purchased a bag that I, um, I ordered it, I looked at it, I looked at reviews. I don't really think I care for it too much. So I'm gonna return it, but it's not this bag. This bag, however, I've been wanting this bag. This is the Louis Vuitton Soft Dolphin GM. And I love her. I love her. I don't want to return her, but I'm going through that you don't need it thing. And you know, I have a goal that I'm trying to accomplish. I'm not gonna necessarily take this back to the mall with me, but I haven't carried it. I've had her for a couple weeks now. And of course I have 30 days to return it. My, as my um, client advisor was like, just keep it, wait, look at it, love it, you know. And then if I decide not to, I still have more time, so. But I really do want this back, so I don't think I'm gonna be returning it. I don't know, I might take it with me because once I'm there, I'll just go ahead and say, you know what, take it back, I don't need it. I don't need any of it. I am going to stop at this point. I'm trying to stop shopping. It's pretty, pretty hard. Um, because I think I shop out of, I'm not gonna say I'm emotional, but it's the euphoric feeling of it. Being as though we're trying to, you know, get our money right and we're trying to stay on top of stuff and we're trying to just accomplish our goals. Well, the goal of mine is to shop though. I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie. Like I am the type of person that that is what I wanna do. I don't necessarily care about going on vacations. People can um, go on vacations and, you know, for, I guess, you know, very inexpensive vacations, but I'm not a flyer, number one. And so I prefer to be home. Like I feel like with everything that I know now and how things are, it's not always comfortable for me. Like I'm going somewhere and I'm cleaning from top to bottom, getting new sheets, new bedding, new everything, just to be in a hotel. Like I can't, I can't sleep in that bed without changing the sheets, checking the mattress, changing the comforter, changing the pillowcase, wiping everything down. I might as well stay home. <laughs> so I, I'm telling you because I ain't even gonna lie. When I go to a hotel, I think about everything that possibly could have happened in that hotel or in that Airbnb before I got there. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, ew, that's just me, whatever. But nonetheless, all right, let's get this day started. We're gonna go get in the car. I do gotta get my car washed. I don't necessarily need gas, but I gotta stop and eat first. And then we're off to the mall. And I do need to return something to Nordstrom Rack. The bag is already in the car, so I can't show you guys, but I did buy these cute pants. They're really, really cute. Hopefully I can get out of Nordstrom Rack without looking around. Now I do wanna stop at Sephora because I love their brow gel. It's like a clear brow gel I got as an example, but I love it, like I'm all for you know, I'm a makeup person. Like I get up, I do my skincare, I do my makeup, I steam, I do my red light therapy. Like, yeah, I'm doing all that. It is 311. It's currently 82 degrees outside. Holy sh, Woo. it sounds hot. We're gonna go. I will see you guys outside in the car. I'm on my way. I'm going to eat at this restaurant. Um, I love it. The aesthetics of it, it is so cute. I can't wait to show you all. I'm just gonna get me some avocado toast. That's what I normally get anyway. I'm plant-based. That's what I usually eat for breakfast though. Avocado toast on a sourdough bread. And I may sometimes put some tomatoes on it. I'm gonna have that really quick. And I brought my own drink, but I'll show you guys when I get there. So I'll see you in the restaurant. Would you like your Stanley? Yeah. 
Drink of champion. Hmm. Okay, everyone, so I am at the restaurant with man. It is very nice in here. It's very quaint. I am getting the, um, it's called the avocado, smashed avocado tartine. My daughter is getting the Katie's chicken sandwich, but it looks delicious. I can't wait to show you all what it looks like. It's in the afternoon. I do need a little corn coin pouch, a coin wallet, and I can get that from anywhere, right? But I need the perfect one. Now, everything, I'm gonna do what's in my bag too. So once, everything generally in my bag is either a luxury designer, but it doesn't have to be. So when I was in TJ Maxx, I was looking for a little count pals. I couldn't find that. Um, I looked in five below, I <laughs> couldn't find it there either. However, you guys know I do like my luxury designer items, so that's what it is. I am going to look for something, but while I'm in here, I am going to take the liberty to do a little bit of work. So I'm going to go on YouTube, respond to some comments. I'm gonna go into my Instagram, respond to some comments and some DMs. Particularly this day, this weekend, I am having a sale. So I know a lot of people reach out to me doing sales. A lot of people, um, it's a window behind me, so I'm watching people walk past. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna look at some comments, see how everything's going. I do know that I do need to go visit a family member in the hospital today. That is on my agenda as well. And I'm trying to think what else I have to do. I, ha I have work to do. SKS orders, you already know. So you guys, I will let you see when the food comes. Okay, everyone, the food has arrived. I am so excited for you to see the food. So let's, let's look at the food. We're gonna turn this camera around. This is the smash avocado tartine. I love it. I have the sea salt, pumpkin seeds, red flakes, lemon. Love it. And my daughter has, oh my gosh, the Katie's chicken sandwich. Let me get into this. What's in that? Looks good. So I could eat all of that. Okay, you guys. So I am about to chomp in. I'll let you guys. Take a glimpse of. You said what? I said those are the seeds. Yeah. Uh huh. Pumpkin seed. I don't normally put the red pepper flakes because it makes it hot, but I'm going to try it today. I'm going to try it. I never do it, but I love salt. I usually have been using Celtic salt here lately. I mean, I usually do Celtic salt for the minerals, the, the benefit of the minerals. That's why I do the Celtic salt. I devoured my food. <laughs> like, it was so good. I devoured it. Yes, I bring my own cup when I go places because I just read to bring my own drink. And all this is is a Saratoga sparkling spring water with, um, what is that? That cherry concentrate. It's like a cherry thick syrup I buy from Whole Foods. It's full of antioxidants and things like that. So, and I just put that in there and just gives a little flavor and a natural sweetness. Lunch was delicious. Oh my God, my daughter's still eating hers, which is the Katie chicken sandwich. She is almost done, but it looks delicious. I probably could get that without the chicken, maybe like with avocado or something. I probably could do that. I would try, I'm just watching all the cars go by, you guys, like I love this, the scenery. All right, I'll see you guys in the car. Hopefully I can make it out of the mall unscathed. I'll see you then. Okay, so we're back in the car. Dinner, not dinner, lunch was really good. So I'm about to go to the car wash now. And then we are headed over to the mall to do some returns. All right, you guys, I'll see you at the mall. Last night, I was in the kitchen and I was like, it looked like it got drunk a little bit. So I don't drink this much. Then I'm like, somebody's drinking this. Then mommy don't drink <laughs> All right. He probably, he probably checked it out. Contemplate if he wanted to drink, but like not like law about it. Like, <laughs> come on. Sure. 
Um, I'm supposed to. We were supposed to go yesterday. Look at this. Like, you like this? Mark Jacobs one? Yeah, this is cute. That's really cute. Look at this one, Stella McCartney. This is cute. Look at this. This blue. I am finally back home. It has been a day. Like, <laughs> I did return the shoes. I did see another pair of shoes, but they didn't. Ha they only had the display, so I was able to get out of the store without the shoes. I did go in a couple other stores. I am going to work on my June's budget right now, but I'm going to do that off camera. I will see you guys tomorrow. I'll jump back on camera. We'll go through my budget. Um, I'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> one so it is graduation day for my boys so yes we are at Kutztown University right now I am in this cute little quaint coffee shop called the bagel bar and I stopped I had some coffee because we've had hours to kill so I had a little bagel a coffee I was getting some work done also I just wanted to show this is such a nice quaint little coffee shop put them in yours so. yeah. <laughs> I need to go to the mall when I get back. My latest video. So, yeah, but we're gonna head out and make our way back to the university, and I'll talk to you guys in the car. So I'm just gonna sit this in the back. Okay, everyone, so we're in the car. We're gonna head back over, get a parking spot. The graduation starts at 2 p.m. Once I get back in the house, I'm gonna sit down and go over my May closeout and talk about what I'm doing for my June's budget. Graduation day is over. We are now in the car on our way back home and I still have lots to do. Um, so I am going to stop at the mall. Guys, we're gonna get into this budget. We're gonna get into how I did for May, what I have going on for June. I am making some small adjustments. And as I drive, I am thinking about, um, see, it's another sign. Is this on a different sign, child? You know, geography is not my forte, y'all. So I just want to put that out there. I'm really good at a lot of things, but um, yeah, I can't know it all. Like, who the hell is perfect? Gargamel is in the background making his little snide snarls and snarls and growls and you know Gargamel so anyway Okay, so I will update you along the way really eager to close out May and get into June because I flip-flopped in May I, I did really bad. I have a problem and so June is a reset. So we're gonna start fresh in June Okay, I am back. That It has been a couple of days. I've taken you along with me and I've been doing a couple days in the life. I guess I could say a few days in the life of me. And I know today was graduation day for a couple of my boys that was at Kutztown University. Um, that was nice just seeing that milestone of them graduating. I attempted to go to the mall because as I told you all earlier, I need to go pick up something. Well, total fail. I want to just get this going. So I do have my budget book with me, you guys, and I know I expressed um, concerns about my budget, just looking at my progress for May and wanting to go over 
my May financial goals and see how well I've done. I am gonna do a flip over to my budget book just to go over my monthly expense worksheet to let you all see how that panned out to give you the total of my spend for May and then give you a total of my bills, which my spending and my fixed expenses are two different bills. And I'm gonna give you all that and then I'm gonna tell you about the emotions that I'm feeling. I think this is something that's not generally, I don't hear this in the community of the videos that I'm watching, you know? Not that I'm comparing myself to anyone and not that I am looking at me and saying they're better than me or they're doing so much better than me. I mean, their journey is their journey. However, when I set a goal, I make my intentions and I don't follow through with it, it is a little upsetting. It is a little discouraging. It is, it makes me feel defeated, um, but it's all within my control. I am the problem budgeting and the budgeting method is not the problem. I myself am the problem. I am trying to change decades of habit in a whim, right? And I'm literally consciously trying to do that. However, it, it doesn't always pan out that well for me. First, I wanna take a look and see what I did in March, right? I literally spent, I wanna say $3,700. So I, my total spending was less than $4,000. Now. Some of you might say, that's insane, that's too much. So just my weekly envelope spending was like almost two, over $2,000 because I budgeted for $1,000 in grocery for the house. All right, we'll get into that, we'll get into that. That was an okay month compared to, let me just give you guys my total spend and then you can feel my pain, right? So I am using my monthly expense comparison worksheet and I'm gonna, you know, just show you guys what that looks like here. Okay, so that is the monthly expense comparison worksheet. So we're gonna go over to the desk. We're gonna go through my monthly expense comparison. I'm gonna chat about June and oh my gosh, thank you guys for chilling with me on the next couple days. I hope it wasn't boring. I really do, but <laughs> it's my life, what can I say? All right, see you guys in a second. Okay, so everyone, as I promised, we are gonna be taking a look at well, we're not going to be taking a look at nothing with these dumb lights as we were talking about taking a look at this budget and see how well it did um and <laughs> you guys green means i'm over but i mean red means i was over budget green means that i was on budget so and it gives you the amount of the green tells you how much left in the envelope red tells you how much i went over in that particular sinking fine cash envelope so now my budget was set based on let me get, I think I show. I'm not sure if I showed you all my, um, this was my monthly payday budget envelopes. Okay. So this here tells the amount that I wanted to budget for, for the month, which gave me a total of $2,950. And here I wrote what I actually wound up putting in those envelopes, which was less $2,502. So it's like $400 off. Um, but that's fine. I was $400 under, but you can see what I actually contributed to those envelopes during the month of May. So here, when you look at, let me get my, when you look here and you see, let's, let's look at gas, for instance, it says $346. So that just means that I only contributed $175 for the month in gas. So that means I already had money in gas and if I go, let's see, if I go here to my month in envelopes, on May 1st, it tells you what the balance was. So gas, I had $171 in gas, and I contributed $175, which gave me $346. I spent $218.52. I have $128 left in gas, and I have $128 on May 31st. That is how I use my month in envelopes. I write the beginning balance, which helps me understand how much I put in the envelope throughout the month. So let's go back to my monthly expense comparison. So this monthly expense comparison, it shows me all of these cash envelopes and sinking funds I spent money on during the month of May. Now, even though you saw here, I have a lot of cash envelopes and sinking funds. I did not spend money in all of them. I only write here the ones that I spent money in. Me, money, dine out, car, gas, food, household, giving, um, tech, business, subscription, gifts, toiletry, fun, medical, dress, selfie, Jenna, grants, car maintenance, and then any spending from my account or my HSA. 
So, so for the month of May, I had budgeted five hundred dollars in me money, and I spent seven eighty eight sixty six. I was over two hundred eighty eight dollars and sixty six cents. Okay, uh, dining out, I budgeted two hundred and ten dollars for the month. That's how much I had for the month in that cash envelope. I spent one hundred and seventy four dollars and seven cents, and I have thirty five dollars left in gas. Car maintenance, I had twenty dollars. I spent ten. I have ten left. Gas, three hundred and forty six. I spent two eighteen. I have one twenty eight left. Okay, now food. I wanted to budget $700 for the month in food, okay? Um, I did have some money already in food, $87. I contributed $700, which is what I budgeted to do, but I still spent $993.93, so I went over $206.92. But um, I did try, but being out of the house... Um, and really not meal planning is what makes me go over. And I'm going to get back to meal planning. Um, household, I contributed $150 for the month. I spent $416.03. Please, I don't know what. I went over $266.03. Giving, I budgeted $40. I didn't spend anything. I still have the $40. Buffer was money um, from... Buffer was money um, from car maintenance. I moved over. Okay, so that's there. Tech, I budgeted $30. I spent $50. Business, well, of course, I went over $20. Business, I budgeted $88. Um, I had $58 in the envelope for business. I started out the month with $58. I contributed $30, which gave me the $88. I spent $51, roughly, and I still have $37. Subscriptions, I had budgeted for the month, $407. I spent $17. I have $390 left. Gifts, $356. I spent $100. I have $236 left. And so here is toiletries, $99. Spent $132. I went over. Why am I? Why do I have that in green? That should be red. Nonetheless, um, fun, I'll fix that. Fun, $842. Spent $716. I have $126 left. Medical, $85 is what was budgeted. I spent $70. I had $15 left. Dress, I budgeted for, and this is kids' clothes, $75. I spent $40 roughly. I have $35 left. Selfie, I had $399 for the month. I spent $403, so I went over roughly $5, $4.78. Not too bad. Jenna, $217, spent $21. I have $196 left. Grands, I only had a dollar in grands and I spent $25, so I went over $24. Car maintenance, I had $1,620. I spent $347. I had to get some car maintenance, um, so I have $1,272 left. Now, from my checking account, of course, because I, as I explained to everyone, I do keep money in my checking account and I do have money on my HSA card. So I spent $3,818.12 for my checking account. And I spent $70.36 from my HSA, which gave me a total spend of $3,888.48 that did not come my cash and did not come from my cash envelopes or my sinking funds. So that gave me a total actual spend. So this is the actual column here. This is the actual, and this is the budgeted column. I should have move them over because technically this column looks like it's under balance and it shouldn't be, but this is budgeted and actual. So I'm going to just do budget and actual. Okay. So my total spend for the month was $8,886 and 20 cents. Can I get a moment of silence, please, please, please. A moment of silence for my, my finances. RIP to my finances. Okay. So that is part of my monthly closeout for May. I did the monthly expense comparison. Now, um, I did the monthly expense comparison. So you guys see where all of my money went. I did cover all of my bills. My bills are, um, I'm currently one month ahead in bills. And let me see if I can tell you what my total expenses was. $5,790.51. So my fixed expenses, my total bills, $5,790.51. And then my spending was $8,886.20, you guys. So that is how much money I put out for the month. So we got $5,790.21. 5 
plus 8,886.20, plus 8,886.20 equals. So my total spend was $14,676.41. That is the total amount of money I paid out this month. So, yeah, um, but this is not a normal thing for me here. Like I said, I bought a luxury bag. I bought some shoes. As a matter of fact, I bought two bags. Um, and it was graduation month. Well, no, preparation for graduation, things like that. So this is not a normal spend. Let's see how I did. Nope. Nope, 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 because it's going to be, be June is going to be better. June is going to be better, you guys. So, yeah, I just wanted to go over that with you guys. I'm going to keep looking at my finances and deciding if there is something different I should be doing or if there is something else that I can do. I mean, I am cash envelope stuffing. I think how things get away from me is because one of the things that I say is important to your budget and cash stuffing and things like that is dedicating the time. I need to dedicate more time to staying on track. I need to dedicate time to meal planning and cooking, right? Because that will contribute to me um, being more successful with my budget. So if we come over here and we look at my goals for the month of May, I wanted 12 no spend days. So let's see. I only had three, so I actually failed. I did not accomplish that. I wanted to pay three thousand in debt, and yes, I did pay three thousand. I paid more than three thousand. Four thousand in debt is what I paid. Um, increased my revenue. I want to say that I did. Um, I, I feel like my I feel like my income this month was was good. It was good. I'm not gonna lie. It was good. More budget videos. I failed at that. I did not get these budget videos out. I am going to grab. So, um, that was not good. That was good. That was good. I didn't do that. Post more content, redo content schedule. I did not do that. You guys, I, that's what I'm saying. I have to dedicate more time to all of this. All of this equates to me being on top of my finances. Give more. I definitely was grateful. I'm not going to say I gave more, but I was consistent. So I want to put a check there. Reduce once focus on needs. I failed on that because you see my spending amount for the month totally failed. So the steps to take. Did I say no to impulse buying? I did not. I just sucked at that this month in May. Adhere to budgets and cash envelopes. I sucked at that. Increase reach, run ads. I didn't do that. Make time to produce count. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I accomplished four things though. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I had 12. I accomplished four, which is still good because I accomplished something. I still saved the money. Um, I paid all my bills. I was able to put away all my bill money for June and May. So overall, um, what I'm doing is good. I am still succeeding. Am I at the top of my game? No. Am I in control of everything? Hell no. Can I do better? Hell yes. Am I going to do better? I'm trying. So, but you guys stick with me here and we're going to get this done. So that is a day in the life along with recapping my finances. I am done with May, you guys. I am done, done, done. I want to get this video up. Hopefully you can see this video tomorrow. Um, but hey, please stay tuned for my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.